So Clearview is working on these augmented reality glasses. Uh, they had funding from the Air Force to develop them. They would be used at military bases so that soldiers could theoretically identify threats from very far away. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can imagine this world in which maybe we do all have all start wearing augmented reality glasses. And with tools like Clearview, you might be able to be able to identify the people around you in real time. Um, I hate to tell you, we are already in that world to a certain extent. Clearview has limited its tool to law enforcement and the government, but there are other copycat companies that have created the, the same kind of technology as Clearview. Their databases aren't as big, but they're on the internet right now. Sites that you can use for free, sites that you can pay a subscription to, where you upload a photo of somebody and it will show you other places on the internet where their photo appears, where you might be able to find out what their name is, you know, where they live. So this is this is not a future scenario. This could happen to you in a bar, you know, tonight um, where somebody walks up to you they are creepy. You never want to see them again. They surreptitiously take your photo and all of a sudden they could know who you are. I mean, I do think that that is a very scary scenario. On the other side, maybe you're talking to somebody who seems great. They're saying all the right things. You take their photo, you look them up, and all of a sudden you, you see that they have this uh, criminal record or they mm -hmm. have this online reputation that you find really disturbing and you want to walk away. So it's like you, you know, technology <sighs> in so many ways. It's just this double-edged sword. There is positive use cases and negative use cases, and it really is about who's using it and how they're using it. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'll tell you this. It, the one thing, you should not put your home address on your driver's license or give it to the government. Get a P.O. box. Just get a P.O. box. It's a bigger pain in the ass to get your mail, but it will put a layer between you and, I mean, look, it's it's. I've done it because I'm well known, but it's this is everyone's well known now. <laughs> there, there are no more civilians with technology like this out there. So take those steps before it becomes a problem in your life. I mean, you have to do it preemptively before the weird guy is trying to find you. It's just so dark. I don't know this. It's, I know you write about this in the book, but it's very much like Minority Report where like everything about us is out there. Like there's that scene in Minority Report where Tom Cruise is walking through the, like the shopping mall and all the ads are personalized to him because they can see, I don't know if it's his iris or his face, but like this is the future's here, and we cut it. Here it is, just to remind those who haven't seen the movie in a while. A road diverges in the desert. Lexus. The road you're on, John Anderton, no is the one less traveled. A nightfall of the John Anderton. You can use a Guinness right about now. So I see that cashmere and the only thing I think is how do I opt out? How do I say, I don't want them doing that to me. And I don't like, I want to opt out somehow. So can we opt out? Yeah, it's funny. I, I think that we see that movie that way and that people working in technology see that as what they aspire to do. Um, <laughs> Hashtag goals. <laughs> Uh, so there are ways to opt out. It, it, it depends on where you live. Basically, your face has different privacy protections depending on your address. Um, so Clearview AI, for example, will allow you to get out of their database if you live in a state that has a privacy law that requires them to delete information about you. And there's just a handful of states that have those privacy laws, California, Colorado, um, Connecticut are examples. If you live in those places, you can go to Clearview AI's website and you'll have to upload a photo of yourself um, uh, and you'll be able to see your report, like see what's in your database, what's in their database about you, and then you can tell them to delete you. Um, and uh, same goes, I think, for Illinois. We talked about how Illinois has this law. It's a very unique law to protect people. But yeah, if you live in Illinois, it says that companies can't 
um, collect your face print, collect your biometric information without your consent, or they have to pay a very hefty fine. So we talked earlier about Madison Square Garden and how they ban lawyers. Um, the company that owns Madison Square Garden is doing that at all their venues in New York City, um, but not at their theater in Chicago because they would need lawyers' consent uh, to you know have their face prints and ban them from coming mm. in. Um, and yeah, and some of these other tools I talked about that are on on the internet right now where you can do this. Um, a lot of them have opt-outs, but again, you have to submit your face, kind of tell them who you are in order to get out of their databases, which not mm. everyone is comfortable doing if you care about privacy. Right. It's like I was saying, when they make you enter your email to unsubscribe and you're like, well, wait a minute, you, you emailed me to begin with, so you have my email. So what is this? What am I being asked to enter into here? It feels like our relationship is getting stronger, not not weaker, which is my goal. Um, okay, so I like that. I like that that the potential of that. I know that my friend and a man I deeply admired, uh, admire currently, argued this case um, on behalf of Clearview, Floyd Abrams uh, of New York Times versus Sullivan. He's the father of Dan Abrams, who's also a friend. Floyd's eighty four years old. He's a giant in legal circles. So Clearview hired him to go in and argue against the ACLU, which sued them over this. And my pal Floyd, I guess it either he didn't win or it wasn't looking like he was going to win. And what happened? So, yeah, so they hired Floyd Abrams because he is the expert on the First Amendment, uh, which is the, you know, freedom of the press, freedom to information. And Clearview was making this argument that they have a First Amendment right to collect public information that's on the Internet and analyze it. Um, and they said they're just like Google, you know, they're just scanning the Internet and collecting it and organizing it. And instead of organizing it, you know, by name, they're organizing it by face. And so, yes, Floyd made this argument and a few of the different uh, lawsuits, there have been quite a few, against Clearview AI, including in Illinois, where the ACLU sued them. And the judge there, uh, it, it didn't make it to, it, the case didn't go all the way, it wound up settling, but the judge said, no, the First Amendment is not going to protect Clearview AI. Illinois, the state of Illinois still has the right to say that you're not allowed to do this particular thing with somebody's face print. And so um, that suit did settle with Clearview agreeing in the future to only sell this database, you know, of billions of photos to law enforcement, to the government. And they said they won't sell it to private entities. They won't sell it to individuals. Um, so the ACLU saw that as quite a win. And Clearview saw it as a win too, because they said, that's what we're already doing. And that's just what we'll continue to do. Hmm. I wonder if they could get like, you know, one of those actresses who's had all that work done. You know, like the, the, the Melanie Griffith or like the, the Meg Ryan of like, you know, <laughs> You've got mail versus the Meg Ryan of today. Would it notice, you know, like are the criminals going to start getting plastic surgery to get past this? Someone's going to come up with a moisturizing cream that dulls the lens, you know, that Clearview would put on you. I don't, there's going to be some technological advancement probably to counteract the creep in the bar with the glasses, don't you think? Maybe those 3D plastic masks that you like pull over your head, like a Mission Impossible. Um, <laughs> it is. It can be. It can be hard to evade facial recognition. I did this experiment with some of my colleagues at the Times on one of these sites that's available to anyone to use. A site called PimEyes, and you know we uploaded photos where you know somebody's face was half covered, like with a COVID mask, their nose, their mouth, and it was still able to recognize them and find photos of them. I mean, it is astounding how powerful facial recognition has gotten. So. It can be hard to evade it. It is possible. I talked to one lawyer who managed to evade the ban uh, and go to a Knicks versus Cavs game at Madison Square Garden, uh, even though she was on the list, by wearing a baseball cap, uh, glasses, and a COVID mask. That was enough to get through oh MSG my. security. The Megan Kelly Show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that's dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher education. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And according to niche.com, it's ranked a top 25 best campus in the country. As of June, 2023, GCU also offers 
270 of its 330 academic programs online, which allows you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your university counselor. They're part of the supportive graduation team that takes a personalized approach to helping you achieve your academic goals, walking alongside you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. For more info or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.